Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. Welcome to Budapest. One of the things that you have to do while you're in Hungary, especially in Budapest, is go get a chimney cake or a tradelnik as they're sometimes called or a uh, whatever that word is down there that I cannot pronounce. It's basically a cake that is cooked on like a spit. It revolves, it gets cooked evenly, golden brown all the way around and then you either put cinnamon and sugar on it, coconut, almonds, all kinds of different toppings as well as ice cream, Nutella, and whipped cream can go in the middle of them. And they're freaking delicious. So we are going to try and find some of the best chimney cakes while we're here in Budapest. As usual, rate all of them, eat too much. It's gonna be a good time. the very first tradelnik here in Budapest. I'm going to continue to call it a tradelnik because I can't pronounce the Hungarian version. So our first stop is Kato Neni Fino Agai. I apologize to everybody from Budapest. She made it fresh for us. It's still very warm. Look at how beautiful this is. It's perfectly golden brown, a little crispy on the outside. You can tell it's still kind of doughy in the middle. And so for all of these taste tests, kind of like our, our donut reviews and our uh, West Coast Donut Tour, if you haven't watched that video, go watch that. We're going to keep it simple. We're going to keep it basic so that we can compare the same thing across all of these locations. So we're just going cinnamon and sugar. So very, very normal. <laughs> the most normal you can get. So here we go. Let's give it broke in the middle. All right then, I guess. We're doing it that way. First impressions, it's nice and warm. Like I said, super doughy on the inside, little crispy on the outside, really just kind of perfection. Can you hear that crunch? That's all you get. I would say that this is like a basic chimney cake. Nothing fancy. Actually, mine almost be a little too doughy on the inside, but I like it. I think it's really good. For So we're off to a good start, you guys. If I had to rate this, you're making a face. I don't think it's cooked all the way on it's the inside. It's doughy in the middle, right? Yeah. 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 The first one, she burnt. <laughs> so we were still sitting there waiting, so I think she might have felt a little bit of pressure to not burn this one so that's probably why it's a little doughy taking away let's say one star for that I'd probably give this a solid six and a half you're right though this one's absolutely a little underdone in the middle and I think that line of people rolled in the place was busy and she wanted to get ours to us on to the next one yeah all right All right, this is our second chimney cake stop on our Budapest chimney cake tour. This is from a chain called literally the chimney cake shop. We'll see. Katrina doesn't think this one's gonna be very good. It was pre-made, it was already made, but it is hot, it is warm. I have to say they're different here than other places we've had them. They're, is that thicker? It just feels a little bit different. I, I, don't, I don't know. I honestly probably like this one better than the previous one just because I think it's cooked a little bit more thoroughly. That other one probably cooked too hot so the inside didn't get done in time. I think the other one's dough had a better flavor. This one's a little plain, but it has the crispy crunch for sure. More sugar than cinnamon on this one where the other one had a lot of cinnamon. This has more sugar. It's fine. It's very much the generic Tradelnik chimney cake experience. Not amazing, certainly not bad. I'm for it. Oh, I have to rate it? I can rate it. Mm, three hubcaps out of out of 19 motorcycles. Okay, your ratings are dumb and they mean nothing. So let's give the people what they want, an actual like numerical rating. This one's crunchier. I agree with you, the flavor's not as good on this one. Kind of bland, four and a half out of 10. 
The first one I ate the entire thing as we were walking, even though it was a little raw. In the middle, I still ate it. This one, I I think that's why they try and mask it with ice cream. It's like, oh, let's put ice cream in it, and you won't know that like there's not a lot of flavor in this actual trail neck. I think I think that's their game. Chains too. It's all about the small like mom and pop places. I have no idea if that first place was mom and pop, but it just seemed more original. Yeah, yeah, we kind of expected this, but. All right, chimney cake number three. This is from a place called Molnar's Kurtoshkalaks. That's the word that I don't know how to pronounce. The Molnar's Tradlenecks, basically. Uh, this one looked pretty legit. They had quite the operation going in there, just like one after another, coming off of the spit. Chocolate, coconut, cinnamon. So this oh, one dang. Oh. is chonky. We should have done like a size comparison. <laughs> no. No, we should not have, Katrina. We tried to get one of these in Iceland late last year, do you remember? And we had them oh, heat it up Oh, that was so bad. Us. You almost broke a tooth I on that. I almost broke a tooth. It was, they made it so hard and crispy that it, it was like biting into like a shell from the ocean. It was so bad. She like, she, bur she like burnt this. She screwed this up. Yeah, she like baked it again. No good. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh my God, you're gonna break a tooth. This is. You know what, if you're watching this and you like our channel, would you please go back and watch our Iceland videos? And subscribe, because we like to eat food and share it with you. And But nobody's watched our Iceland videos. Because they're, you know, we were young. We didn't know any better. We were young six months ago. How's that? You have to like let the flavor like marinate on your tongue. All right, so far that's the best one. Not even close. I'll have to take another bite just to confirm. Not even close, really? Not even close. It's super fluffy in the middle. It's cooked all the way, which is a plus, but it still has that nice crisp outside to it. And I'm getting way more cinnamon in this because it's called cinnamon. It's not cinnamon and sugar, it's just cinnamon. And the last one, I didn't get like any cinnamon. It's the best one. I would agree with that. Eight out of 10? Eight out of 10 what? Normal people rating scales. How would you rate it? Like you said, it's cooked perfectly. I mean, that's at least seven starfishes out of like some amount of wagon wheels where the hell do you come up with it? some amount of wagon <laughs> wheels like what does that even mean it doesn't matter i bet there's people that don't even know what a wagon wheel is because they're too young they didn't play the oregon trial i, I have a question for you we're we're doing I this tour how are we gonna eat dinner after all this well so that's the thing sweets there's always room for sweet stuff but is there always room for dinner yeah because like right now this is just like it's not even going anywhere. It's like just we're eating air. So it's like our stomachs are empty right now. That's some bad bro science there. So we still have room for some goulash. Stop it. Probably right. something else fried, I'm sure. All right. But. This chimney cake tour will continue tomorrow. But to you in like two seconds. The chimney cake tour continues. Oh my, look at, okay, for scale, our heads. It's bigger than your head, yo. The <laughs> chimney cake. That, that is legitimate. Okay. Whoa. So when we We have a new contender. Yeah, we do. When we walked up and ordered one of these, she had a big like vat of dough that she just like cut off a section of it and started rolling it out. So this is probably- That's as fresh as like, it's gonna get. the most fresh that we've had so far. What is this place called? Adis Mako. And they have a cute little bear on the logo. We're right by the zoo. We can smell the zoo. Well, now I smell chimney cake. Yes. Yeah. Keeping with the other ones, we're doing just cinnamon and sugar. And this one definitely has more cinnamon smell and hopefully flavor. It's very warm, very fresh. I cannot confirm this, but I'm pretty sure this is also the first one that was cooked over charcoal. So not technically an open flame, but charcoal. Although I don't know if they're cooked over an open flame. Crunch is there on it. Super cinnamony. I'm, I'm crunching some of like, it looks like they put bigger sugar crystals on it than the other ones that we've had. 
I caught it, don't worry. I can't wear these pants again. Um, this is the best one so far. I agree. Warm, cooked all the way. The zoo crowd is checking us out. This might be the best one. The flavor of the chimney cake is good too. All of it. The one that we had that just tasted like white bread, not good. Um, this one got pretty high reviews, so now I see why. So if you go to the thermal bath, which is what we just did, come over and get yourself one of these chimney cakes. You can check out the thermal bath footage in our Budapest video, linked in the description, maybe. Oh, I need to rate this. This is oh, yeah. like eight and a half with a nine rising out of 10. Size, texture. What, what did you just say? Eight and a half with a nine rising? Yeah, like it could be a nine. And you say my ratings are weird. I didn't like rate it on like watermelons and hubcaps. No, no, no. Or this isn't watermelon. This one's rated like eight blue jays out of 14 pineapples. I think you've already used pineapple as a rating before. Pineapples are amazing. Why wouldn't I always use them? Yeah, why wouldn't you? So, not a good sign. They're already made in a piece of plastic. But we're still gonna give it a shot. Next chimney cake on our list. This is the first one from a kiosk. This is called Fitzky Chimney Cakes by St. Stephen's Basilica. I wanted to try one from a kiosk just because I haven't tried one from a kiosk yet. And I wanted to try one from a kiosk. So it smells good. Definitely more cinnamony than some of the other ones. It is mostly cooked all the way through. This did not come right off of the spit. It had been sitting there. It was still warm, so that's good. Not as crunchy as some of the other ones, probably just because it's been sitting there. It has decent flavor. I don't know if maybe I've just had too many of these and they're all starting to taste the same. It's pretty good. I would say that it's like, it's not bad and it's not great. And it's the cheapest one that we've picked up so far. Only 700 forints or two euros. It smells really good. Okay, it's getting crunchier like the further you go down. Better than I expected. I don't think there's anything like special about it. It's a chimney cake, flavor is there, nice crisp, cooked all the way through, thinner than some of the other ones that we've had. And I think now I've decided that I actually like when they're a little bit thicker, like more pillowy. That's the problem. This I would give a seven out of 10. And look at the backdrop we have. For our next chimney cake, we have some mood lighting going on here because we are at the Caravan Street Food Market here in Budapest. So I forget what this place is called. I'm sure Nate has it listed below. It's burning the crap out of my fingers. It's extremely fresh, he ordered it. He put the spit on the coals. And it's interesting because I was watching it from start to finish. Like they start it on the little spit that's far away and then like as it starts to cook, they move it further like towards the hot fresh coals. I think to make sure that you cook it all the way through and then at the very end you kind of give it that like blast of heat near the hot coals so it gets that kind of crunchiness on it. It looks very nice. I think it's more sugar than cinnamon. I think he might have gotten my order incorrect, which I'm not mad about. I think it's okay. I'm offended when it breaks in the middle like that and not where it's supposed to. It's very thin. This is one of the thinner ones that we've had. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Let's give this one a try. I'm just ripping it open. Right off the bat, excellent crunch. That is definitely sugar and not cinnamon. That's good flavor. I, I had since I've had so many of these in the past 24, 48 hours, I like the fluffier ones, a little bit thicker. But this one has good flavor, I do like it. I love it when they make it as soon as you order it. I dislike when it's in, like in a plastic bag and they go, here you go, here's your fresh chimney cake and it's not exactly fresh. So you like it. Here, why don't you eat this side and we can do like a Lady in the Tramp thing? Like, oh look, it's actually thicker in the middle. Dough, good. Sugar, good. Cinnamon, good. Like, what is there not to like? This one, let's see. Seven and a half out of ten. I like the crunch. I like that it's fresh. I like that it's 
on coals instead of just like some heating element. So that's our chimney cake tour in Budapest. You know, I think I'm good on chimney cakes for a while. These things are so good, but I don't even remember how many we had in like two and a half days. So thank you, Budapest. Let us know which one's your favorite. Comments below. Like, subscribe, yada yada. Mmm. Mm.